Hello, welcome to the Getty Images Creative Channel. I'm Allison. We publish lots of briefs, and we often ask contributors to shoot to brief. So, what are they, and how can they help improve sales performance? Briefs are your friend because they show you the kind of images that our customers want to buy right now. Even if you don't submit images to a specific brief, reading them can give you great ideas for future shoots. As well as visual examples, briefs often provide you with suggestions for activities, compositions, props, and locations. Following a brief can help you plan your shoot and increase the commercial appeal of your work. We have two kinds of briefs. Creative briefs are based on general customer requests, such as these examples. A few creative briefs are open to non-exclusive contributors, but most are only open to our exclusive contributors. Our exclusives can also shoot for global brands through custom content briefs. These are requests from specific clients for specific images. When shooting custom content briefs, please check the key requirements very carefully. There may be things that you absolutely must include or avoid, and please remember that the example images only provide suggestions of styling. They're not a definitive guide to what's being requested. Our contributors can find both creative and custom content briefs in the upload tool. If you're not a contributor yet, you can apply to join using the work with us link in the description below. Once you've found an interesting brief to shoot, check the visual examples provided. Look at the key requirements and try to answer these questions. What locations are required? Could you shoot in more than one place? How many models are needed? Could you shoot it with just one or two? Are there any special props or clothing required? What quick changes to clothing or location could you make to create a variety of images? Reading briefs with questions like these in mind will help you sketch out a basic plan for your shoot. Keep your shoots simple and set limits. Don't try to shoot every suggestion listed in a brief. Pick a few ideas that will work best with your location and models. Finally, consider how long the shoot will last. Shoots lasting two or three hours tend to get the best out of everyone before fatigue and strained smiles set in. Even for professional models, looking permanently happy gets very tiring. A shorter, well-planned shoot allows you to get more great images, wasting less time between setups, and it also keeps your costs down, which is always a good thing. That's all for now. If you enjoyed these videos and would like to see more, please click like and subscribe, and join us next time for more quick tips to help you learn and earn. Thanks for watching.